Welcome to Mastering Mel for Maya, a free companion to my popular Python for Maya course, linked in the video description below. In part 9 of our video series, we will learn how to save our scripts for reuse and sharing, and learn about the scoping of functions and variables. First, let's go over saving our script. We do this by going to File, Save Script. We then choose a place to save it to. Let me launch a new Maya to show how we can load this into a fresh session. I'm going to create a new tab and call it Mel. If we try and call our rig nodes function, you can see that it cannot find it yet. We can load our script back in by saying load script and loading it. And this pulls it back into our tab where we'd have to execute it to create the function. We can also source it in by using source script which loads it into memory and executes it immediately. So if we were to now run rig nodes, it'll say cannot find procedure rig nodes. Now why is this? Well this brings us to our second topic, scopes. The function we wrote is only available to other code inside the same script file. This is its scope. We cannot use it outside that script in its current state. What we need to do is add it to the global scope. This is as simple as putting the word global ahead of the proc keyword. Let's save the script back down. And now let's source it. We can also source it by using the source keyword and just giving it the path to the file that we want. If we try to run this, however, it will error. This is because Windows uses backslashes, but Maya only understands forward slashes or double backslashes. I'm going to convert this to forward slashes. And now if we run this, you can see that it's found our script. And I can say rig nodes, zero. And now it can find our function because it is a global. When creating globals, we need to be careful to name them uniquely since every single script in Maya shares the same global scope. This means that if two scripts have the same global function name, only one can keep the name. Like functions, variables also have scopes. A variable can only be used in the function they're created in, or if they're outside a function, they can only be used inside the script they're created in. But just like functions, we can make them available anywhere by using the global keyword. Let's demonstrate this by having a function where we set a value to a variable. So I'm going to say proc scope function. And I'm going to define a variable called spam. And if I now run this and try and print spam, you can see that it says spam is an undeclared variable. This is because the scope of a variable is limited to the function it's created in and it can never be accessed outside it unless it's a global. To make it a global, we need to define it up here. So we'll say global int spam. And then inside the function, we need to tell it to use the global spam. If I now run this, you can see that I can access spam outside of my function. If I change the value of spam up here, so I'll say spam is equal to 32. I can print spam before and after I call the function to show that the function is accessing the same spam up here. So you can see it printed 32 followed by 22. Unfortunately, it didn't print a new line in between, which is why it printed on the same line. Global variables and global functions have the same caveat that you need to be careful about their names. Multiple functions and scripts can have the same global names, which means that your function could change the behavior of another function somewhere else. In fact, you could break the scripts that Maya includes. To counteract these global naming issues, I like to name my globals with sort of unique names. I usually name them with G as the prefix to designate global, followed by 
the name of my tool, followed by the actual variable name. This way, I have a semi-guarantee that no other tool is going to conflict with my globals, and I'm not going to introduce issues elsewhere. If you're interested in learning more about programming inside of Maya, check out my popular Python for Maya course, which is linked in the video description below.